Hey guys, so today I'm not really going to be doing no skateboarding because I have to work really early. So I wanted to talk about this subject, um, fear and progression, how both of them kind of tie in together because they really do. So a lot of you that are beginning or want to get really good really quickly, the things that you guys are going to always run into is fear, fear. The and progression because progression will equal it into fear because anything you progress in will be because of fear either you 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 take out the fear and you progress or you stay in the middle and kind of stay stuck with progression and like what I mean is whenever you jump downstairs or jump a big gap or jump onto a rail or handrails in general or anything that's really gnarly there's always fear in it. There's fear because you're not sure if you can do it at first. You roll up, you roll up, you might roll up like 30 million times, who knows. But the thing that I can tell you is from my experiences, I've approached it very differently as I kept progressing. So how I started changing up my my ways to approach it were I either practiced the trick so much like one day, like this one time, I nollie heel flipped this gap. We call it's in East High, it's in Bakersfield. So, what I did was the day before, I nollie heel flipped off the sixer probably like 20 times, and then I went to the other side of the park. I extended this box so it was like a long gap, and I just nollie heel flipped that four times. And then the next morning, that's the day I was like, okay, I'm gonna go do this today. So, what I ended up doing was I did the same thing. I went to the park and I'll heel flip the six a few times. I was listening to some motivational speakers because I wanted to get in the zone. So we, I went to the gap and what ended up happening was I all ate it like six times. I all ate it six times because I didn't want to just go for the nollie heel flip without rolling away from something to feel what I'm going to do. Because, you know, it's a new day. I'm, I've skated the gap before multiple times, but it's a new day. And it's the t this is like the 14th, 13th time me going back to do that trick. And I was just fear. Like the fear of me. Like it wasn't even the trick. It was the fear of stomping it. Like I was afraid to clip it and just hit my head. Because like... I've done that before and it's not cool like I've, I've had seven staples in the back of my head so it's just that was still fresh that that thought was still fresh so any thoughts will always go into fear so I was feared I feared of stomping it and hitting my head but on one of the attempts I actually stomped it and clipped did not hit my head and it just made me happy and I just kept thinking about all that motivational speeches all the nollie heel flips a few tries later rolled away what I'm trying to say is prepare yourself. If you're going to do something gnarly, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself by the tricks, the tricks that you want to get good at. Like if you want to kickflip a 10 stair, kickflip something like a 5, 7 stair, as many times as you can. Get ready to go kickflip that 10 stair, you know? Uh, don't just go for the 10 and just kickflip, take 3, 4 hours trying it because that will, like it's not, I'm not saying it's a, not a bad method, but there's other ways to get that trick quicker than taking 4 hours. So instead of being fearful for that amount of time, you can just practice that kickflip as many times as you can before you go do it. So it'll get your progression better, it'll get your mindset ready. Also listen to motivational speakers, they're really good. Some that I recommend are Tony Robbins, uh, Les Brown, Eric Thomas, and any other motivational speeches on YouTube. These are great. I just, these are the ones I listen to to help me get ready to do something big or something crazy. Uh, but fear, sometimes you just gotta go for it. Like, it's like yesterday I tried a trick that I'm not gonna say but I used the early grab off the C train to prepare myself for the trick like I was really terrified when I got up there and I, you guys may think oh you don't look like you're scared I was like I really was I got up there there was like a lump <laughs> like like it was like a baby launch thing so yeah the, the, there was a little lump on the C train and I was rolling up a bunch of times but after I did the C, the the early grab one time I got comfortable 
and I, I was able to do my trick, but I was, that doesn't mean I wasn't afraid. I was still afraid to go for it, but just that early grab helped me get a little comfortable to go towards that, that trick. But I was rolling up back and forth, and it was very uncomfortable, but I still went through it because that one, one little piece of being comfortable helped me out a lot. So what I'm trying to say is listen to motivational speakers. It helps out a lot. These guys are good. Les Brown, Tony Robbins, Eric Thomas, and anything else on YouTube, these guys can help you out. Like Just listen to them. They're, they're great. Uh, also, just just go for it. There's... Anything you think on your in your mind of like spots, go do it. Like if you you see something like uh, kickflip nose manual on a, uh, on a manual pad, go go for it. It will help you out. Just progressing, it, it, that's what it is. Like anything that pops up in your mind of tricks you know how to do, and spots of you know in your hometown, go for it. That's progressing. It's helping you out. Uh, also, just just go go out, film, ha hit anyone up. That's another good thing. Like, don't just feel like people don't want to film with you or not. No, just hit people up, go with them, get a crew, just go, go. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, if you do this from 2017 to 2018, you will be good in one year. That fast, you'll 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 see the progression. You'll have done so much, and it's not that is demotivating. Like, if you don't land a trick, that doesn't mean you suck. It just means okay. At least I know what I gotta work on, and you can go back the next day. It's not like they're gonna take out that spot that same day, if that makes sense. But these are the things I do, and that's how I have been able to progress and get better, better, and go through fear without like stopping. What fear means is false evidence appearing real. That's what fear means. So this is what I do, and I hope this helps you out in any type of way. I apologize if this didn't make sense, but thank you for watching. Like, it helps out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't because I do skateboarding. And yeah, just thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Have a good night.